a very important topic nuclear force but in your syllabus it is it is it has been discussed not very in detail so i will just give you a simplified description of the nuclear force okay so nuclear force now see inside a nucleus we have protons which are positively charged and also neutrons these are neutral particles that is electrically neutral and we have protons now now we know that according to coulomb's law these positive charges they will repel each other and the protons will fly apart and so the nucleus will break down so this implies this shows the instability of the nucleus but it does not happen so what is happening this positive repulsion due to this coulomb force is actually balanced it is not actually balanced because there is a very strong attractive force which is playing inside the nucleus very strong very strong attractive force inside the nucleus which binds the protons with protons that is it can bind protons with protons then neutrons with neutrons then protons with neutrons so this force is actually called strong force now this strong force in nature we have four fundamental forces that is first one is the gravitational force second one is the electromagnetic force third is the strong force and fourth is the weak force now weak force is also a force which plays inside the nucleus now i am talking about the strong force this strong force is the strongest force in our nature so it is the strongest force in our nature and it binds proton with proton neutron with neutron then proton with neutron so the magn the magnitude of the force binding proton with proton is same as the magnitude of the force binding neutron with neutron and that is also same with the magnitude of the force binding proton with neutron so strong force this does not depend on the charge electric charge of the nucleons whether it is proton or neutron the magnitude of the strong force is the same so the characteristics the strong force was rigorously studied by yukawa and for that he was awarded nobel prize also so according to yukawa we get a picture of the strong force so some properties of this strong force is that it is very short range so short range force that is the range of the force inside the nucleus is very short okay then so this strong force is a short range force then another characteristics is that strong force is charge independent charge independent as i have already discussed 
that is if charge means electric charge that is strong force between two protons which are positively charged particles is same as the strong force between two neutrons then proton and neutron so it is charge independent okay now another property is that they get readily saturated by the surrounding nu nucleons it gets readily saturated by the surrounding nucleons so suppose this is one neutron now it is feeling strong force by the proton here proton here proton here now we have other neutrons and protons here also now this the surround just bes beside this neutron we have protons and neutrons and those surrounding members they due to those surrounding members this force strong force gets saturated okay now this strong force is the strongest force in nature this i have already mentioned then another property is that this strong force it is dependent spin dependent so it is spin dependent that is all of you know the concept of spin you know that a electron is a spin half particle a proton is also a spin half particle a neutron is also a spin half particle so the strong force it is dependent on the spin of the particle so these are the more or less some properties of the strong force now the potential electric po uh, sorry not electric this potential due to this strong force potential energy it is it was given by yukawa and it has of this form potential energy now potential energy due to this between two protons suppose suppose we have two protons inside the nucleus and they are feeling strong interaction so potential energy due to the strong interaction due to strong interaction means that is the strong force is of the form vr it has the form e to the power minus mu r divided by r mu is a constant and r is the distance from the nucleon now this factor e to the power minus mu r it is showing that it is showing that vr is rapidly fall, falling so this factor guarantees that the strong force is a very short ranged force so e to the power minus mu r this factor guarantees that the strong force is a very short ranged force okay now the potential is given by this form and the field that is you know that we have the concept of field all of you know gravitational field electromagnetic field similarly the strong force is given 
the strong force, the field beside this strong interaction is called the Masonic field. Masonic field. This is the field actually corresponding to the strong interaction. And all of you know that we can quantize electromagnetic field. You know that quantum theory of uh, light, that is when we quantize the electromagnetic field, we get the photons. Photons are the quanta or the particles of the electromagnetic field. Similarly, the Masonic field, the quanta of the Masonic field are called the pi mesons. So, quanta of the Masonic field are called the pi mesons. So, pi mesons are the particles of this Masonic field. Now, we have three kinds of pi mesons. One is pi plus, then pi minus, and pi zero. These are the electric charges. This is positively charged, this is negatively charged, and this is electrically neutral. So, these pi mesons are the carriers of this strong interaction or Masonic field. And these particles are massive particles. That is, they have mass. These are, all, all, all these are massive particles. See, in the case of electromagnetic interaction, when, suppose, a electron is interacting with a proton. So, we say that a electron is exchanging a photon with the proton. Or, when two electrons are interacting electromagnetically, then we say that there is an exchange of photon between one electron and the other. Exchange. Similarly, when strong interaction is taking place between two protons, there will be exchange of these pi mesons. Exchange of pi mesons. So, these are the subject of quantum field theory. So, when you will learn quantum field theory, you will understand how these forces are acting by the exchange of this, funda this fundamental particles, that is pi mesons or also photons. You will, when you will learn quantum electrodynamics, you will understand how one electron is interacting with another electron by the exchange of elect, uh, by the exchange of photon. Similarly, when you will learn quantum chromodynamics, you will learn how proton proton they are interacting or neutron neutron interacting via strong interaction by exchange of pi mesons. So, pi mesons are the carriers of this Masonic field or the strong interaction. So, this is, this is all about the nuclear force and I should mention also that inside the nucleus there is another kind of force that is the weak force. Weak force is a, is, has, le, has less, uh, means magnitude than, than the strong interaction, much, much less magnitude than the strong interaction and this weak interaction they are propagated by three kind of particles so weak forces no pain is writing so weak interaction this is also this is also a nuclear force, weak interaction and it is responsible for the decay of the electron and positron from the nucleus. So, this weak interaction, it is responsible for decay of electrons from the nucleus or decay of positron from the nucleus. So, this is another kind of nuclear force, one is strong force 
and another is weak force or weak interaction. Now, when you will learn beta decay, beta decay means the decay of the electrons from the nucleus. This weak interaction takes uh, means uh, takes the role there, and this carrier of the weak interaction are called W plus. W plus, then W minus and Z zero, these are bosons. Bosons means these particles have integral spins. Similarly, pi mesons, these are also bosons. Okay, now this W plus, W minus, Z zero, these three kind of particles. Are the mediator? They carry the weak interaction, and these are the massive particles, and they are called W plus, W minus, and Z zero bosons. So, inside the nucleus, we have seen that there, it there, there are there are two kind, actually three kind of forces. There is, uh, or you can think that gravitational attraction is also there, but forget about that. There is a repulsive forces, Coulomb repulsion. That is, the electromagnetic force is also there between the proton-proton uh, inside the nucleus. But when we talk about nuclear force, we mainly concentrate on strong force and this weak force. That is, strong force which binds the protons and neutrons with together, and weak force. Weak force is responsible for the decay. Of the electrons or positrons from the nucleus. Okay, so today we stop here. Thank you.